You're watching F5. I have a really special video to uh, share with you all today. I'm actually joined by Kevin and Kunal. This is really exciting because NVIDIA is just this really exciting partnership that we're working on with you guys. So, Kevin, maybe I'll start with you and get you to introduce yourself. So, I'm Kevin Deerling, and I run the networking business at NVIDIA. I came in through an acquisition of a networking company five years ago. People didn't understand the connectivity between networking and AI, and I think people do now. So it's exciting, happy to be here with F5, because you guys complement what we do. Very important stuff right now. Uh, Kunal, most people know you, but I'll let you introduce yourself as well. Yeah, my name is Kunal. I'm Chief Innovation Officer at F5, uh, effectively running product vision, strategy, and execution. So between the two of you guys, probably have the most amount of air miles that could pay for any sort of trip in the world. Out of all those air miles, and maybe starting with Kevin, what kind of trends are you seeing with customers right now? Yeah, so customers are embracing AI deeply and broadly. So we see it across industry verticals, um, and we see it across functions within each of those companies. So people are actually building out uh, all sorts of new things. So whether it's about security, whether it's about digital agents, it's across industries, oil and gas, pharmaceuticals, finance, manufacturing, Everybody is embracing AI for good reasons because it improves productivity and it helps people to do their jobs better. Mm. Fantastic. And you know, I've, I've seen you have those conversations with folks, mm. recorded them myself, uh, to be honest. And, you know, with those those themes, um, particular technologies that are arising a lot in those conversations. Yeah. And to echo what Kevin was saying, we see people implementing AI, not just because it's a buzzword, because they're practically looking at AI to solve problems and challenges or to unlock new capabilities in what they've already built today. And so as an example, sometimes we will go and meet with organizations like a financial services firm that's implementing AI. And you always ask the question, well, what are you doing with AI? And they're like, oh, well, we think that we can either optimize an algorithm or we think that we can help consumers better understand their portfolio and through the lens of something like a, a chat bot or a new type of experience. It's fascinating to see these build outs, I think it's interesting and amazing to see people recombinate the technology across different types of applications and APIs. Agents are top of mind right now as well. People are getting ready and people are deploying agents for all sorts of cool things, leveraging APIs and the data that they already have. It's a fun time right now, Boo. Awesome. I'm having fun myself. I got a Jetson Or Nano, so I'm kind of going oh, wow. thing. Super fun. Um, but when it comes to this relationship right now, there's two things that we're focused on. Um, maybe Kevin, I'll, I'll swing that to you as far as like, what are the two things that we're really honing in on together? Yeah, so I think uh, one of the first big things is really the, the whole platform, the new platforms that were announced here at uh, ADC 3.0. Yeah. And running that on Bluefield, accelerating that and tightly integrating it. The fuel of AI is data. We eat and breathe data from all sorts of sources, and we need to, you know, take care of the data. We need to curate it. We need to protect it. We need to move it very quickly. We're generating more data. It needs to move into storage. It needs to move in the cloud. It's on-prem. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So that first thing is really getting ADC accelerated on Bluefield coupled to AI. And then I think some of the second things, things we're doing in the telco space, yep. and uh, we've got so Mobile World Congress coming up. Yeah. Exciting news and things that we'll be doing there. As Fantastic. Well. Two things that have been coming up a lot is inference, GPU as a service. And we're playing together with NVIDIA around that. Maybe you can expand a little bit on how we Yeah. Look, inference is top of mind for everyone right now. Um, really, what we're seeing practically is a lot of organizations leveraging models, uh, regardless of size or composition, to help them perform these tasks. You know, when we talk about AI-powered applications, AI-powered APIs, what does that fundamentally mean? It means, effectively, this middle tier that is able to go and fetch logic, fetch data, rather, from different types of data stores across multiple environments, synthesize all that data, aggregate it, and send that along to a model for execution or for inference. And it's amazing to see the scale at which people are oper operating at for inference, uh, the types of things that, they, that again, they want to solve for. Uh, whether it's in, in healthcare, people are uh, trying to leverage AI for drug discovery, in financial services, uh, optimization, uh, the list goes on and on and on. So it's, it's yeah, fascinating to see cool, that. What's cool about that is inferencing used to be single shot. Yeah. Ask a question, get an answer. Yeah. And didn't, the model didn't know the answer, it would make something up. 
Now what we're seeing is that agentic flows. We build out blueprints yeah. that actually show people how to do it. We combine those into Kubernetes. We call them NVIDIA inference microservices. Mm -hmm. You can dynamically put all those together to get the data from all different kinds of places. You guys perfectly complement that by building out infrastructure, you know, all of the ADCs that protects the data, moves it efficiently, knows where to move it, knows what you can access, what you can't, protecting all that information and then stitching it all together. Fantastic. Well, you mentioned something just now. You you said the K word. You said Kubernetes. Yeah. And uh, you know, look, I, I think what a lot of people don't quite understand is in this sort of new world that we're in, Kubernetes is the thing. It is the pivotal piece of infrastructure that a lot of people just don't quite understand. But whether it's model training, whether it's fine tuning or inference, it's all Kubernetes. Absolutely. And so the partnership, the work, everything that we've been in, invested in together is really around you know, effectively yeah. moving, delivering, securing all those different types of workloads in a Kubernetes workflow. And, right. and that's what's awesome. Right, and doing that in a multi-tenant environment, which is really important. Yes. So. Kevin, you hinted at this before, let's close with this. Kunal, can you share with us what we're going to be talking about at Mobile World Congress next week? Absolutely, so last year we announced the collaboration effectively of getting big IP technology to uh, effectively live on top of NVIDIA Bluefield 3 DPUs, incredible. And now we're taking it to the next step. Specifically, we're bringing our second version, second iteration of all our CNFs and that effectively means all the modules, all the richness, all the capabilities of delivery and security will now be able to execute and run on the DPU infrastructure. Yeah, and what's great about that is we actually have a platform called Aerial, which accelerates 5G on GPUs. And it turns out the use of telephones and your mobiles is very periodic. And now what we can do, we're running it on the GPU when we're not using it for peak demand during the morning and evening hours, yeah. we can run inferencing on it. And that's really important with what's called sovereign AI as countries are building out their own models to take their own culture and their own language and take advantage of that. Now all of a sudden you have this platform that we can run mobile on it and we can run AI on it. The carriers love that. And the bit that I'm really excited about is, and again, kind of going back to Kubernetes, what we were describing, and you think about all these new workflows and you, you, know, you said it earlier, you know, maybe previous generations of AI was single shot the future is around reasoning. Absolutely. Right, models calling models. And in this world, state is so important. Yes. And so being able to carry that state, understanding that state while still having delivery and security throughout the mix. So multi-tenancy becomes super important. Acceleration of workloads becomes important. Uh, ensuring that the right permissions are in place is critical. So uh, again, I'm super thrilled about this. Absolutely, it's a great partnership. You guys really complement what we're doing, uh, both on AI and networking. You guys make everything secure and multi-tenant. Fantastic, great partner. Awesome, thank you, Kevin. Excellent. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. This partnership is super exciting. So folks, make sure you follow along uh, for all these announcements and all of the stuff that we'll be doing uh, with NVIDIA in the near term. Thanks, folks. Super. Thank you. Thanks.